Welcome to Ramsey Land. Today I want to show you the difference between hydrogen and helium gas. Check it out. In this investigation, I'm using helium, hydrogen gas, a lighter, some 12 inch balloons, a little bit of string, a styrofoam cup, and a broom handle that has a candle on the end. Start by cutting a small X on the bottom of a styrofoam cup to put over your candle to catch the wax. Next, you can press the cup right over the candle and it'll hold on to it. This is gonna catch the wax when you use your candle to ignite your hydrogen. Today, I wanna to explore some of the differences between elemental hydrogen that only has one proton and elemental helium that has two protons. Helium first became available on the market in 1928. It's the second most abundant element in the universe, and we get it from the radioactive decay of thorium and uranium. Since it only has two protons, it's less dense than our atmosphere, and so when you fill a balloon with helium, it's positively buoyant and rises. On the other hand, hydrogen is the most abundant gas in the universe. It was first discovered by Robert Boyle in 1671 when he was experimenting with iron and other acids. Remember, hydrogen only has one proton, so it's much less dense than our atmosphere. And if you fill a balloon with hydrogen, it will rise better than helium. But the difference is hydrogen is extremely flammable. Remember the Hindenburg? So in 1937, on May 6, the Hindenburg disaster occurred. The Hindenburg was an airship that was made by Germany that was filled with hydrogen gas. And somehow there was a gas leak and that hydrogen ignited. And for the next 30 seconds, that entire airship burned to the ground. 36 passengers lost their lives that day. This is why we don't fill our blimps with hydrogen gas. So to illustrate the difference between hydrogen and helium, we'll first fill one balloon with helium gas. Then we'll fill our second balloon with a little bit of hydrogen gas. Next, tie both balloons to a string and mark them accordingly. This is our helium balloon. So we'll mark it H-E. And this is our hydrogen balloon. Its symbol is H. Now we're ready to test our two balloons. I'm gonna use this long broom handle with a candle on the end to test both balloons safely. Our balloons. First, we'll ignite the helium balloon on the left. And now we're ready to ignite our hydrogen balloon. Here we go. Wow, big difference. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time.